man. I don't care about any of that. I just need something that will get me feeling right, you know? Where's this guy at again? Okay. Thanks a lot, man. I'll buy some extra and bring you some. Hey, man. Are you Cliff? Johnny told me to meet you. What's that for? What did you just take? That's just my anxiety medicine. It's nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Man, anxiety is a motherfucker. <laughs> Man, you're fucked up. What you got for me? I'm trying to reach your level. It's called Rapture. Cliff pulls a pill out of his pocket and shows Michael. Rapture fixes everything. Say bye-bye to your misery, to your grief, to your sadness, your depression, your sorrow, woes, upsets, and failures. Rapture is rapture. Huh. Why is it called rapture? Because rapture will carry you to another place, to another sphere of existence. Sounds kosher to me. Let me get two of them. Michael pays Cliff, and Cliff hands him two red pills. Be careful now. You can awake some nasty demons with this stuff. Yeah, well, I'll take my chances. Rapture! Rapture! <laughs> Michael hasn't walked too far, and already the drug is hitting him. He begins tripping out to everything that is going on around him. He hears Cliff's voice yelling out. He's laughing at everything, scared of some things, and is completely out of control. Michael is sitting on the bus. He is too messed up. He calls his friend, but he can't pronounce his words correctly. Michael puts the phone down on the seat next to him. Michael gets up and gets off the bus as he tries to make his way through his apartment room. He lays down on his couch, and there is a switched-on lamp resting on an end table by his head. A tiny monster hand creeps up, and the hand goes toward Michael's mouth. Michael's eyes are closed. Then he slowly wakes up. And his eyes quickly realize. He's scared and tied up to a chair with tape over his mouth. He squints to see what's in front of him. A scary little vampire girl emerges from the dark. Michael squirms, but he can't move or speak. She starts giggling in a little girl laugh. She speaks to him with a very scary demon voice in a foreign language. She paces back and forth and disappears. Michael can't see her anywhere. Suddenly she flies toward Michael, screaming. She latches onto the side of his face with her mouth and bites him while he's screaming. Michael is bleeding from the face as she lets go and disappears. Michael feels sudden shock from a sharp pain. The monster girl is behind him, biting off his finger. She spits it on the ground, and she continues speaking her demonic language and laughing to him from the dark. Michael tries to free himself, untying his hands from behind. He sees the monster girl come from the darkness into the light. As she gets closer, he breaks free. She screams flying toward him. Michael stands up and hits her. She flies across the room as Michael bolts for the bathroom. Michael slams the door shut. He begins looking around the bathroom for anything he can use. He finds a small knife in the cabinet under the sink. He sits there, leaning against the door as he hears noises. He notices the doorknob starting to move. The noise of it frightens him. He quickly grabs the doorknob as tight as he can and braces the door. The doorknob stops shaking and it is quiet for a moment. Michael moves away from the door as it remains silent. The door busts open as the monster girl flies into the bathroom. Michael grabs the monster quickly and throws her into the bathtub. He throws his body on top of her and begins stabbing her over and over. He turns on the water. Blood and water start to pour out of the tub. There is no movement from the monster girl. Michael crawls out of the tub and halfway lays on the floor, excited and panicking. He reaches into his pocket and dumps white pills and one red pill on the ground. He reaches for his anxiety medicine, but grabs the rapture pill and swallows it. 
He sits up with his back against the tub and looks down at the pills. Michael shocked. He quickly reaches into his pocket. He panics. No. No. Fuck! <laughs>